Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott, if you didn't know already, and today we are continuing our dagger, hand-painted dagger, I should say. Uh, so, um, hello to everybody. Let me know if the sound's okay, and uh, it should be all alright because it was the same as yesterday. I haven't changed anything, but you never know with my system. It does seem to do some funny things when it comes to sound. Uh, so I'm continuing this dagger. I have done a couple of things. I've just uh, given it a bit of a notch there and there to make the straps look a bit thicker. And I've tidied up the back a bit, but it still looks bad. And there's a bit wibbly wobbly around there. So uh, bits of work to do. I'll wait a few seconds uh, to see if uh, anybody wants to join me. And uh, let me know where you're from. Say hello. Hello, Keaton. Hello, Game Clasher. <laughs> uh, let me know that all's OK and if uh, things are really happening. <laughs> uh, hello, Confused Griffin. Uh, Imp Rules. <laughs> nice to see you on the stream. They're different names. I'm not. Uh, have you been on a stream before? Uh, Glare is not on the tablet. Yes, um, I sorted out the lighting slightly. I repositioned it. Uh, and it seems to be okay in the room still, so that's cool. I <laughs> just finished watching the last stream. Cool. Uh, Iran, interesting. Airfan. Irfan Mo, is that right? Uh, Wevenson, Bluetooth, but Bluetooth, hello again. Uh, Juicy Palo, hello to you all. Okay, so I'm going to get straight into it and just start working. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions uh, at Grant Abbott and uh, we'll just go from there and uh, yeah, chat, chat away to me. Uh, I'm just kind of having fun uh, painting away. Uh, uh, Germany Game Clasher. Uh, I'll be doing another one on Friday, Tom Kayak, but that'll be the um, uh, the full body sculpt, which I still need to prepare for. There's been a few changes uh, to the, um, as far as I know, what's going on here? Um, yeah, I wasn't thinking then. What am I doing? Sample. There we go. Um, there's been a few, few. I've got the screen brush on. <laughs> Let's undo that. Uh, there's been a few changes to Blender. Uh, and I think there's something to do with the multi-resolution modifier, so I have to just check that out before doing my stream on Friday because that's a workflow that I would commonly use. So that's what I'm waiting on. Uh, hello, all right, man. <laughs> anyway, let's. Uh, so I was looking at this and I'm thinking it's nice to take a break from these things. So it's good um, that I've stopped halfway and then. Well, I say halfway. We're probably about three quarters of the way. Uh, but the last bit of details can sometimes take a while. Um, yeah, just having a look at the stream. Um, uh, I was thinking it needs a lot more contrast, a lot more brighter areas. It's all right at the back here to a degree, but this needs a lot more contrast and things. So there's lots, lots to do. The other thing that I'd like to do is add a bit of variation in the colors, especially on the blade because it picks up reflections. But every, excuse me, every object uh, picks up reflections. So. Uh, that's something I'll be wanting to do as well. Let's just sample some of these colors. Um, so make sure they're in my palette here. Someone was asking about the palettes the other day and saying it wasn't showing up for them, but it seems to be fine for me in 2.8, the color palettes just down here with the disclosure and uh, add them with the plus sign. Hello from India. <laughs> I'm your friend. <laughs> um, and David J, Ali Yassin Erdogan. Nice to see you all on here. A bit earlier today, I thought that would be uh, give other people a chance uh, if, uh, if, you know, uh, timings and all that sort of thing. And just that I'm working away, enjoying myself. So um, a texture mask is like a brush um, head. So um, you can just add te texture masks quite easily. So under here, so like a brush head in Photoshop, I'm thinking. So texture mask, new, and then um, let's add the texture down here. So this is the brush texture. Add a new brush texture and I can just add something like, what shall I have actually? I think, shall I, what, ooh, Stooky, that's interesting. Or is it Stooky perhaps? That's quite a good one actually. Let's see what's uh, going on here. Something like that might actually, uh, do you know, that's the first time I've really looked at this one. And I suddenly thought, actually I'd like a slightly different brush. So I thought I'd play with one plastic pattern, wall in, doesn't make much difference, wall out. Not much difference there. Blender original noise. I'm just having a look at my screen, checking that's all right. Um, oh, love that. That's kind of cool, but I'm not sure that will work. It might do. <laughs> I didn't realize this is there. This is cool, isn't it? Oh, look at that one. 
That might be quite good, actually. Let's see what we've got then. So now when I paint, let's just paint on the... Oh, that didn't even work at all. Let's just go back to my brush settings up the top here. Oh, uh, it's not come through for some reason. Why is that texture mask? Hmm, interesting. So that's called texture. Across here. Brush texture and brush mask. There we go. That was the problem. So um, that's always a pain, isn't it? it? It was under the brush texture, which I didn't realize I had one. Suspicious. And then there's brush uh, mask texture there, which I think is the right one. So let's just do that again. We went down to the Stucci, I think it might be called. I'm not really sure though. And uh, let's go to, it was one of these, wasn't it? Oh, this looks quite interesting, doesn't it? A bit too big there. Turbulence, a type hard. Oh, it's just, it's fascinating. Anyway, now we let's paint. Yeah, there we go. And that's quite an interesting brush, isn't it? It gives it an interesting look anyway. I'm not sure. I, I, <laughs> I just literally thought, I'll have a go at this and see what's going on. Uh, do I, do I keep pressing the same one? I'm going to try a few different ones. Now that's too, too, um, what do you call it? Uniform, I suppose, is the, these are quite interesting. Oh, man, they're great, great fun. Weirdly, I think this one might actually work. Let's have a look. It sort of does, but um, I'm going to take those two off and <laughs> see what's going on. Um, I'm using Blender 2.8, yes. Uh, use Ken tools to make your face in 3D and let everyone download it and mess around with it. Why would I want people messing around with my face? <laughs> you can't mess around with perfection like this, I tell you. <laughs> uh, anything else on here that's interesting going on? Uh, yes, I've, uh, I'm your friend, so uh, will you be doing any tutorials on animation on the on animation tab. Well, I have a whole set of beginner tutorials on animation, so have a look at those and see what you think. Just having a see what these things are like. That's quite a nice one because that's a very subtle effect, so I'm going to start with this one and then go from there. Thank you very much, uh, Suhib. Suhib? I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, for saying my tutorials are great, I appreciate it. So what I like to do, uh, with a bit of variation on my brush like this, so a brush head that's got variation on it, uh, back to the tools and let's just mess around with the color so low strength and just dab some colors on just different colors because the blade will pick up reflections from different places and you can see already it adds that sort of variation but there's one thing that's missing i would say let's go to the texture again no it's not in the texture sorry it's under the uh, texture mask it's on tiled i hate tiled uh rather have random let's just see what happens here that's cool. Uh, and not just on the blade, but on different areas, cloth and things like that. Because my brush is quite big, there's a bit of lag um, that's coming out at the moment. Let's just, uh, yeah, vary the colors a bit more. Vary the brightness as well. Just have a little bit of red in there, maybe. And see what's going on. Um, Um, I remember when you would introduce yourself in vids with that low poly fox in the snow woods thing. Yeah, I'm really sort of pleased with that piece. That was quite fun. Um, and it was very simplistic, really. Uh, uh, most people who are sort of um, reasonably competent at Blender could have a go and uh, do a, a good job at mimicking it. But it just seemed to all work together nicely. And sometimes you get those pieces, don't you? Um, hello, uh, Given. Andy S again. Uh, nice to see you all. And let's just randomize these a bit. It really is lagging a lot. It it will lag if your texture's too big and your polycon counts too high. My texture's fairly big, 2000 by 2000, so 2K texture sort of thing. Um, although 2K texture does mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, doesn't it? Depends which company you're with and all this sort of stuff. Like 4K TVs, and you think, well, that's not actually 4K, is it? <laughs> Although that's my opinion, I suppose. Right, so it's already it's got a bit of variation there and it's looking a bit more vibrant. That's cool. Well, uh, Wars World, uh, thank you very much. Loving the vids. Do you just make icons and models for games or do you play yourself? Uh, yeah, um, if I do play games and I haven't for a while, um, it would be something like a single player RPG uh, and just running around 
killing monsters, loving it. Now I had a really good reference image up here somewhere for uh, drawing gold, which helps me a lot. It's just quite a tough thing to get right, I find, um, metal. <laughs> I know it looks horrendously bad at the back here, but it works from the side, uh, so I'm not too worried, but I'll probably smarten that up a little bit in a moment uh, because I can't bear it like that. Right, I'm probably going to go to the screen brush for a bit. Screen will lighten. So in the brushes, if you didn't know, and I'm not sure I said this last time, but you've got a darken area, a lighten area, and uh, lots of different fun stuff as well. But the darken area and the lighten area are your main go-to areas, and obviously the mix up the top there. Uh, screen is the best sort of lighten because it, it has a technique of lightening in a very clever way. <laughs> uh, it sort of increases the con no, not the contrast, the colours. It plays with the colours and it's, it, it just does a better job. It's really cool. Uh, I can't explain myself and I'm not sure I know exactly what it does, but it does a, a good job, so that's cool. I've still got my brush head on, so I'm going to turn it off now and start coming out with... I'm sure I just turned that off. It's got a texture on there as well. That's interesting. So I, I've just been using the texture. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm just going to see if this... Fascinating. I don't know why that did that, but it added it to the texture and the texture mask, which is not what I had in mind. Could be a little uh, bug in 2.8, or it could be something that I did. More likely something I did. Trying to get a bit of shine on these areas, on the edges. So going a bit over the top, but sometimes um, really go for it and you sort of tone back a bit afterwards. Uh, but I have that tendency to underdo things uh, and then, um, yeah, start adding too much detail and I've underdone it and I need to then go back and go over the highlights and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. But it's, I think it's different for different people how well it works for you. The mirror is always tough to paint, uh, as you can see there, with the mirror going across. I'm going to sample these colours over here and try and get a bit more uh, gold going in there. So I'll change back to the mix brush and come around here. Cool, so it's looking a bit better. <clears throat> Remember the uh, light coming from the top. So the top is, and you're always sort of um, thinking that the light's coming from the top. It's just a, a natural, nice 12 o'clock look, as they say. Uh, and uh, then you sort of uh, darker as it gets down, obviously. All right, I'll come back to that a bit more in a second. Or shall I, I'll just add one little highlight in uh, and see if we can uh, make it pop a little bit. So let's go. Up a little bit higher and with the screen brush again. Ah, yeah, no, no, it hasn't moved. Yeah, no, the mix has moved to the bottom and it was up the top a second ago. Why do they do that? Why would you want to move those things around? That's strange. Um, yeah, <laughs> any thoughts, anybody? Why would you want to move those around? All right, how are we doing? Oh, that's looking kind of cool, isn't it? I feel like it needs a bit at the back here as well. It's a bit of a weird shape. This I added some topology to this as well because it was looking a little bit too squibbly. But we're getting there, I think. Uh, did you stop announcing live streams on Discord? Yes, I did. Sorry, Luna Lotus. I, I, the last few live streams, I just sort of um, thought, you know, I'm going to do a live stream quickly and haven't really given it enough thought. I'm not giving these enough thought at all. And I'm not, you know, I'm very, very bad at promotion, advertising and all that sort of stuff, as you may have noticed. Um, but um, my philosophy often is just to get it out there, do it, learn from your mistakes and uh, pick yourself up afterwards. And luckily the community is happy to work with me on that most of the time uh, but I yeah so I haven't been uh, advertising these on discord um, I haven't been chatting to people enough on discord either um, but I just it's just when you're so busy you, um, I'm struggling to sort of keep up I obviously answer direct messages and things like that it's nice to get um, messages every now and again sort of people you, you, with using doing my tutorials and stuff and saying look 
That's what I've done. Uh, that's cool stuff, isn't it? Okay, so it's starting to look a bit more, I don't know, the contrasty and fun, isn't it? Um, oh, you saw this video on Grant's video section, so um, that may, maybe it does pop up then, that's cool. Um, my texture is uh, 2K, so it's way too big for a mobile gaming, but uh, you can reduce them afterwards and it still keeps quite a lot of the detail, so that's all right. Um, oh, good morning from Vancouver Island. <laughs> Thank you, Gregory Clark. <coughs> Excuse me all. Um, ah, yes, I was meant to, um, that reminds me, I was, uh, someone sent me a, uh, was it you, Art, the Art Kid, um, where I was meant to look at um, their work and I completely forgot because I was on my phone at the time. Now, that's the only problem, if I'm on my phone, then um, I'll forget, <laughs> as you can imagine. Um, just adding some screen now um, and really brightening these areas up. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, then people say, so did ha what did you think? <laughs> and I think, of what? Of what? Uh, because I completely forgot. So um, sorry if I, I miss certain things. It does happen to me quite often. So can you see that sort of glare coming off the back there? That's kind of fun, isn't it? I feel like this needs a lot more as well. Maybe a bit more chunky. Yeah, about there. That gonna hit there. I'm not sure the light. Yeah, the light would hit just under there, and on top of here definitely. Oh, my arm went a bit wobbly there. Lots of people like to have their tablet quite flat, and you can see I've got it fairly upright. So you can probably tell anyway. Um, but I, I still haven't ever really found a comfortable position. Um, flat, I find my posture goes a bit too much, um, so I tend to have it sort of a bit more upright. But there's uh, still a lot, I feel like there's loads for me to learn, really, about the whole digital art scene, really. Um, so, yeah, long way to go. Um, I saw this video, oh, yeah, yeah, now I've said that one. Uh, will you check my drawings on Discord? Uh, yes, yeah. Um, ha have you sent them to me, Art Kid, uh, the Art Kid? Uh, 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 have you got the same name on Discord as you have here? Because I'm getting confused between names and things. Um, because I, I've let someone down today, but they asked me to. Oh, by the way, Alt uh, middle click will zoom. Oh, will zoom in on an area. There we go. And center your camera around that. That's really handy to know. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, send me your work. Uh, let me know what's happening. Uh, yep. So this is for Atlas Empires. It's a mobile game, but this one is actually just for the icon. Uh, so I'm answering uh, Wars World's question there. Uh, so yes, um, uh, that. They're, they've been really cool actually, Atlas Empires, and they've given me loads of work, which has been really great fun. Um, and you can see lots of it on my playlists and so forth. Um, let's try this texture. Um, I need a bit of multiply, I think, in here. Just going to sort of darken this area up and give it some texture. Um, I think I want to... Look at my texture a bit though. Mm, is that the right texture? Maybe I'll do the other one again. I quite like that other one. That's quite interesting. Into here and let's up the size because my brush is going to be quite small now in here so I can up the size a bit more. Give it a bit of interesting contrast there. Maybe some coming down here and then maybe changing the color of the multiply brush as well. coming down here looking fun I'm um, thinking details yet is that the right shading I probably need a bit more lightness going across here let's look at my reference images again and see how they've done it because there's some lovely pieces in here um, yeah they tend to sort of change quite drastically uh, on this area here. So I'm going to go a bit more screen here. And I've got a sort of reddish colored screen there. Let's go for a few different colors just to vary it a bit. That might be a bit too much, but just a <laughs> touch here and there. Can you see that sort of color variation? Sort of helps just slightly. Hopefully that makes sense. 
Ah, so uh, Harshal and the Art Kid uh, go to 2D Artwork, and I've sent it to you by doing the at Grant. That's cool. So I'll have a look in a bit. Yep. Uh, cool stuff. Ah, Jason, the Great Awakening. Nice to see you again. Um, Faber. Old Faber Castle Pencils. Hmm, interesting. I'm trying to think what that is. Uh, Moroccan music. <laughs> Greetings from Morocco. Um, interesting stuff. Have you got a, your own channel, Moroccan music? Uh, let's just brighten this area up in here a little, just a tiny bit. Those very edges. That, this needs a bit of work, doesn't it? So I'm going to turn the um, texture off and go back to the normal brush. Come into here, Alt, Middle, Click to actually. Oh, I need the um, what's the keys on Gen M's shortcut keys. There you go. Just uh, checking that the stream's all right. Had some issues with the internet today, but I think I've figured out what it is. Um, my router. <laughs> I'm going to tell you because you're really fascinated, I'm sure. But I don't think my router's very good because it's the one that came from the company, uh, Plusnet. And I don't think it can handle my Synology NAS drive being plugged into it. I think that's all it is. So as soon as I... Uh, because it was going a bit weird, the Synology drive. Not was it? No, no, we needed to move it. That was it. It wasn't going weird. Um, and yeah, my, so my wife wanted to move it um, because it was on her desk. <laughs> she has a downstairs desk. Uh, and we, she unplugged it when she moved it. And the internet started working well again. I think, oh, okay, I think we've got to the bottom of the problem. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with the Synology drive itself. I think it's purely to do with um, the router just not being up to the task. Just sort of blending and smearing these into each other. Any questions at Grant? And uh, yes, I fixed the audio, Andy S. Hello, Charlie Rigdon. Nice to see you again. Uh, well, uh, not see you in person, but see you on here. It's good. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, yep, uh, that's, that's cool to see you regularly in here now. That's cool. Um, uh, yes, uh, Andy S. I've fixed my audio. Um, by plug it, plugging it into a different socket. How stupid is that? It just doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of replacing the router, but uh, I'm not sure which one to get. It's uh, frustrating. Um, I'm just going to the multiply brush and sort of uh, making this cut a bit darker, notch a bit darker, whatever we call these things. Um, yeah, it's sort of coming out of it now, isn't it? So obviously the deeper you get into this notch, the darker it's going to get. And yeah, somewhere around there. Starting to get there, isn't it? It's starting to, anyway. I feel like it's missing something. Maybe a bit lighter on here and darker on this side. So the light's coming from here, remember? So, oh, that looks... So a little bit darker in there. I might use, actually, instead, use the mix sample. And, yeah, get that around there. I think that's better. And then lighter on this side. So sample this. And let's go a little bit lighter, really catching the light just on this edge here. So I've gone almost, almost to white. I've still got a low strength though, so it's not quite white, but um, it's almost there. So it's really catching the light there. Getting the idea? Hopefully you are. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so new router time. Not really sure uh, exactly where to go with that because I've heard lots of Oh, when you go to multiply brush, uh, it won't work if you're in white uh, because it's saying, well, I can't multiply using a white color. So you have to go down uh, if you're ever stuck and thinking, why is my multiply brush not working? And let's uh, just come up here. So, yeah, new router time. Keep saying that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's difficult to know which is compatible with um, my current um, DSL provider or whatever you call them. Um, I'm home for a lot of um, third year of uni now, is that right? Most modules are supervised instead of taught, so I'm about more than uh, with the streams. Cool. Nice to see you, Charlie. How is uni going? Uh, is it all you hoped? <laughs> Which uni is it, actually? I can't remember now. Is it? Um, did you go to the, the one, uh, Suffolk? Is it called Suffolk Uni? I can't remember now. University of Suffolk? I can't remember now. Um, a welded blade, very old school. Uh, it's used to forge, to weld steel, 
uh, to a soft iron core. Is that what is that what happens? Is it? <laughs> so little uh, cuts like that uh, sort of add a bit of character. We're going to do the same with this one down here. I'm taking my time with these actually, but it's kind of fun, relaxing, having a chat. Um, try the NIC card drivers or get a new 10 gig NIC card in your PC. Mm. Uh, do you think that will help uh, with? I mean, it's. Uh, I think it's more the router that's the problem because the when I get a connection, it's fine and it's no problem uh, from this distance. I am wireless, but uh, it's still not really a problem. Um, it's just that it keeps dropping out. That's more the issue. Uh, anyway, let's talk 3D stuff. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, Sheffield Hallam. Sorry, I thought I thought it was Suffolk for some reason. Um, ah, I see. So <laughs> Suffolk Uni gave you a conditional without seeing your portfolio. Yeah, yeah. I never know what to think of uh, Suffolk University. I mean, um, I don't want to talk badly of them because I don't know these days. But um, uh, I went to uh, what was. Uh, Suffolk Uni then <laughs> and I didn't have a great experience to be honest but that's a long time ago now so I can't really criticise can I but I think you're right to be suspicious if they're not asking for a portfolio so let's have a let's have a discussion about universities and things if they're not asking for a portfolio then uh, they're a bit desperate is the honest truth um, which obviously Charlie realised uh, so he went to Sheffield Hallam instead and that's probably the right approach. Yeah, be be concerned if they're not asking for uh, to see your credentials and say, yep, in you come, whatever your skill level. It might be good for you, though, if you haven't had any experience at all, because then you can start from the beginning. But generally, before you go to uni, you should be getting as much experience as possible so you can learn the most you possibly can when you're there. Okay, so we're starting to get there. We've got a bit of sort of um, metallic look-ish. <laughs> I say ish because we're really not quite there, are we? Um, I feel like we need more sort of screen in here and then coming across the blade. It's the sort of patches that it's hitting. I want a sort of warped look to the blade, which it hasn't really got fully at the moment. Yeah, there we go, a bit more. That's cool. Hmm. Just a tiny bit more around here. I've gone a bit too neat with this, weirdly. It's rare for me. <laughs> and let's get some multiplying there. I probably need to do more with the, the blade um, designs. Make this dagger look a bit more ornate. But we'll get there. I feel like the top needs more light as well. So let's get the screen. Actually, no, let's sample this. So with a soft brush from this angle, just, oh, I'm still on multiply. That's no good, is it? Let's get that screen brush. Can undo that, it wasn't quite there. I wanna try and hit the edge. Now I'm keeping the pressure down because I haven't got accumulate on. Uh, so without accumulate, accumulate, excuse me, I can keep an even sort of distribution of color going across the top of the blade there. Okay, it's starting to work now, isn't it? We're getting there. Uh, yes, I have done a video about screen and multiply particularly. It's in the art, um, sorry, the gr hand painted section of my website. I really got to organize my website, it's so bad. Uh, and it must be very confusing for people. <laughs> I'm gonna sample this and just add a little bit of screen on here. Especially this area here. So it's sticking up a little bit. And these areas are catching the light. Down here like this. Oh, I love this. I love it when it sort of just emerges uh, in a sense from the canvas. It's obviously not a canvas, but you know what I mean. Just on the edges here, a little bit, but not too much. And maybe just as if there's slight folds in these, uh, increases in these 
uh, sort of ribbony bits, leathery bits, whatever they are. Yep, that's popping out a bit better. A little bit of multiply again. Just a dab of multiply and a touch of other stuff. And we're getting there. Oh, we got a uh, uh, which graphics card do you use? Uh, <laughs> you've said that many times, Gaurav Kumar. Thought you might be a bot for a moment then. Um, I want Intel HD 4000. I've no idea what that is. Um, I was recommending graphics cards yesterday, actually, and I was saying about the RTX series because they have that... Um, uh, they, they work with EV. Uh, no, sorry, they work with cycles uh, for real-time... Uh, denoising and stuff and oh it's just brilliant so they've got that what is it they've got uh my brain's gone uh tell me what it is uh, that they have that uh, is sort of like real-time ray tracing what is uh what's their what's the stuff they have <laughs> to make it happen i'm not sure this this multiply brush is it's not working for me is it it's not too bad though um should stop worrying so much right we'll go to the mix brush now and i'm going to sample this and just give it bit of brightness across there. I'm going to change the color really slightly and go a bit more orangey. So um, yeah, adding the sort of highlights, you, you do tend to sort of go across the colors a bit more to the warmer colors and then for um, the cooler colors being sort of blues and things. And I can put those in the shadows, not like that though, with a bit of darkness and uh, gives it uh, more depth. It's quite interesting. I learned that from another YouTuber who's a, a sort of 2D artist, but uh, it looked really cool stuff. Uh, well done, Amon Bundel Bundela. You're a pro at Blender because of me. That's uh, optics. That's the word. Thank you, Corey. Yes, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, they have the optics stuff. Uh, and yeah, um, that means you can do all sorts of cool stuff. I'm going to go a bit darker even with this blue. Might be adding a bit too much blue. Let's have a look. No, yeah, that's all right. Might add a tiny bit to this blade down here. Just having a look whether this is um, suitable. Any sort of patches around here. Yeah, it's sort of working, isn't it? Uh, we're, we're slowly getting there. I'm probably going way over the top, as always. I'm sure Atlas Empires don't mind because I'm talking about it and... Uh, stuff on the stream, so hopefully they don't mind me going over the top. <laughs> Interesting. Let's have a look at the screen. Uh, I didn't put the link to the reference image in the latest video. No, I didn't, did I? Ah, that's a really good point. Ah, and I'm stuck in a live stream, so I can't put the link on. Thanks for uh, reminding me. You're the first person to notice because I did look at the comments and no one else uh, mentioned it. Uh, but I'd need to get onto that, don't I? Um, I haven't actually uploaded it to uh, Google yet either, so I can't even just quickly do it now, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, yeah, NVIDIA with graphics cards do seem to work better at the moment, although AMD, didn't they give some funding to Blender? So I would have thought they're sort of linking up and uh, uh, working together more, so we might see more uh, of that sort of thing. But I think NVIDIA still have the um, monopoly, should we call it, on graphics cards at the moment. So uh, minor details like this. Um, I've probably gone a bit too thin there, but I'll just thicken up a little bit. Uh, but you have to watch a little bit for that, uh, whether you're adding too much detail or not. I feel like it needs some sort of more design there, but I'm probably going too far, so I'm going to... Not worry too much, and just add some more scrapes and stuff in here. That's quite fun, isn't it? I like this bit, the notchy bit. And you're using the multiply brush. Maybe a sort of, actually I've gone way too far. That's the only problem when you've got mirror on it's going to come across the other side and you just got to watch out for that. Try not to let it influence you too much, but yeah. So when you're adding that sort of detail, you see what I mean? It adds, and it looks really, really weird when it's exactly the same on the other side with the details. 
that's where I like to turn the, the mirror off most of the time, but um, that's not the case this time. <laughs> so we haven't got um, the option of that because it is actually mirrored in terms of the mesh. So that, that does show some limitations to this sort of technique of using the mirror. But it is, it is still used quite often, um, so don't shy away from it. Um, but that does happen. Um, <laughs> Kurt Ironmonger, it's nice of you to join us. I'm glad you were able to catch one of the streams. Not so many people on today. Um, I think we've got 110, which is still nice. Um, it's not about the numbers, of course. Uh, but yeah, so earlier in the day, uh, obviously suits less people. Although maybe they just looked at my stream last time and thought, I'm not going back to that. <laughs> but um, I like, I'm, I want to mix it up a little bit because I want to give uh, people the opportunity to have a chat and stuff, different people. And it's nice to be able to chat to lots of different people. Uh, I'm just having a look at some of my reference images and seeing what they've done with the scratches. I feel like it's working, but it needs a bit more around the place. I'm probably in danger of going too far with this. Um, <laughs> too late for that. I feel like this end needs sorting, doesn't it? Look at that. I'm going to have to. I know this is naughty, but GG, pull it in. Shouldn't really do that after the fact. Um, but I might put it in further. It's not looking too bad though, is it? Uh, it looks a bit better like that. I might go GG the other way like this. I think that looks a bit better now. And now I can use the screen brush. Do I want to come up there like that? It's sort of working. I probably need to just highlight the whole thing as if it's... I don't know why I've got my brush so small. Yeah, that's that's sort of all right, isn't it? And that's sort of working. I feel like it needs more coming down here, though. Uh, yep, it's not looking too bad. I'm going to look at some of my reference images for a minute now as well. Uh, let's see what people are saying. AMD Pro Render uh, for Blender is nice too. I don't, don't know much about that. Um, yes, a lot earlier in the day at the moment. Um, so, yeah, like I say, I'm just trying to uh, give other people a chance to see what's going on if they're interested. Have a look at some of these other reference images. Oh, they do look good. They look better than mine. It's annoying. <laughs> Let's uh, see if I can brighten these up because that's what they're doing. They're really going for some highlights and they look really cool. Um, I think uh, it's not only the case though that your highlights need to be brighter in some cases, as I think mine do a little bit, um, but uh, your darker your dark areas need to be darker to get that sort of contrast. So you can't have light without dark is what I'm trying to put across. Um, so make sure you don't just think about uh, yeah, hopefully I'm making sense there. It wasn't very clear at all there, but sort of making sense, hopefully. Hmm. Oh, they do such a good job, some of these artists, don't they? I'm getting uh, art envy. Go back to a, a textured brush line. Maybe. Let's just quickly. Uh, what am I on the screen? That's why I'm not getting anywhere. Offline. Adding a bit of texture in here, just maybe under here. I feel like this is not doing anything. Why is that? Oh no, it is. Look, there we go. <laughs> it's the easiest way to test whether things are working. Uh, I probably want to go to cross the blues a little bit. Look at these um, shadows as well. It's getting there, but it's... It's not quite as cool as some of these references images that I'm looking at. They just look so good. I feel like it probably needs a bit of a... a line sort of coming under here as if the, the light from there is stopping its progress, if you know what I mean. Yeah, sort of give it more of a curve. Yep, that's sort of working. Let's see what other reference images. Sort of focusing on one just for the moment, but 
see what others are doing. Back to the screen brush. So I'm just sort of playing a little bit at the moment. Uh, where to use this knife? Uh, if painted blend, yes, so I can use it for games. If you look at the poly counts, if I go to um, the poly count, let's select all the down here. I mean, you can reduce these faces eventually by getting the, rid of the line in the middle, um, but uh, sort of it's about probably about 200 faces for this knife. So it's very low poly. That's the thinking uh, behind this. Uh, yeah, to be fair, the reference images will be painted in Photoshop. It is a bit easier, but why shouldn't I be able to get that quality in Blender? Blender is good enough. It's the fact that I'm not really. Uh, I'm not as good as those artists, if I'm brutally honest. Uh, and that's uh, the kind of the truth of it in a way. They're just some fantastic artists out there doing some fantastic work. And I'm not quite to that ability yet, but one day. Got to keep on working on it. It's not looking awful or anything, not suggesting that, uh, but I know that uh, it's got limitations. Let's up this screen, push it right up. So it really has a glare on certain aspects. A bit small brush though. Have I got my, ah, oh, there we go, that will help me, the radius pressure on. I usually have that on by default, but it's not always helpful, actually, to be honest. I'm going to use the smear brush on this bit, because that bit doesn't make sense. So there we go. Just push that grey into that other area there, that colour in there. Yes, that's sort of working. Yeah, you're getting there, you're getting there, certainly. A bit of highlight down the bottom here will help. So it needs just a touch. I know it's in the shade, but it still will have just a glint. And let's just... Get rid of that down there. <laughs> um, yeah, sort of getting there, isn't it? I feel like it needs just some touches of... Uh, detail in these sort of dents around here. I'm just sort of wibbly washing my brush around the place like this. Wibbly washing this time, not even wibbly wobbling. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, the art kid. Um, appreciate that. Uh, how long have you been modeling and sculpting for? Uh, that's a tricky one because I started probably about 20 years ago, but I haven't been doing it full time. It's been very much on and off. Um, so, um, yeah, diff it's very difficult to say, really, how long it's really been going on for, if it was ad all added up together, if you see what I mean. It's kind of working. Is this highlight too much? Because it looks good on theirs, and it doesn't look good on mine. <laughs> there, it works for them. I think it's too much. I think I've gone too far. I've gone too far with that highlight. Let's uh, focus on this area here. I've got the, have I got the multiply brush on still? Oh, I get confused with where I'm at. <laughs> uh, when you finally remove the extra faces, will it not impact the unwrap? No, it won't. Uh, I was just thinking there, actually. I suppose it probably would, actually. Yeah, the way I've done it, it probably would, actually, yeah. So um, I couldn't get rid of around the, some extra faces down the middle. But what I can do... Actually, no, that would. Yeah, I can't get rid of the extra faces there. So you're right. Yeah, there's actually 250 faces. Yeah, no, yeah, you're completely right. Um, <laughs> have I said that? Um, uh, making a short animation movie. I mean, that... Uh, if I could do a live video just on that, that would be great, but it's quite a big topic. Uh, so as much as I'd love to be able to do that, um, it's a hard one. Uh, but yeah, uh, making a full animation movie, I mean, it's not impossible. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Make a huge animated movie, like uh, Shrek. That's what I'll make. <laughs> Oh, that's too much, isn't it? Maybe not, actually. 
sometimes uh, happy accidents, as Bob Ross would say, uh, aren't so bad. So I'm just sort of testing this one out, really, and seeing whether that's going to... I want it to be a sort of dent, but it's not really looking like a dent much at the moment. Probably because I've got the shading wrong in this section. Because the light should be coming from the top, so I'm being a bit stupid here, really. So actually, we need the screen brush on here. You don't have to use the screen brush. You can um, use uh, just mix brushes. Sometimes I like the screen brush because of this feature that you can sort of keep adding and it will keep going whiter and whiter, like so. It's a nice sort of dent in the metal there. Kind of looks fun. It's sort of working, isn't it? I feel still like this is a bit too bright. I'm gonna, I've got, get my multiply brush on. Just, just dial it down a bit, undo that a bit. I'm gonna sample this one now. Now, let's undo that and see. It probably is better, but it needs to be a bit smoother. I'm gonna smear it in a bit. You have to be careful with this smear brush, I tell you. It can ruin things pretty quick. I don't feel I quite got that right, that bottom bit, and it's difficult to know what's going wrong with it. Let me know. <laughs> Just see what people are up to. Oh, we're up a little bit on the stream. A few more people. What have I got here? Oh, I'm in smear brush, that's why. Let's uh, make sure I'll mix, and let's sample a color from here, I think. Looks a bit too rough, doesn't it? There's something not quite right about it, and it's really, I just for some reason cannot put my finger on it. Oh, forgot I was streaming there. How's everybody? <laughs> it's missing some pat patina. Try some darker splotches. Is that what it's called? This sort of discoloration. I think it's looking a bit better than it was now. Now I've gone a bit darker. But I might try uh, putting some of these. Yeah, it might be too much variation of the colours. It should be reflective slightly, so... Um, but, yeah, could be that, couldn't it? That one crack on the vert, maybe. I'm not sure which one you mean. This one here uh, might be a bit too much. It might be, actually, yeah. Anyway, I'll come back to it, and I'll do a few blotches and things on the handle. Probably won't go that much further, really. How are we doing for time? Uh... Why can I not see the timing? Where's it gone? Uh, ah, well, uh, just about an hour. So that was a, a nice sort of stream. Uh, about an hour and a quarter sounds good. Track uh, too uniform from the distance, the cracks? They might well be, yeah. Uh, so maybe another one in here somewhere. Okay, right, right in the middle. Might do that in a second. Good plan. I'm going to do a few cracks and uh, stuff on this area here. Now this time maybe sort of dense more. So let's, with the multiply brush, sample this color down here and then just sort of make a blotch like this. And obviously it's gonna be more at the top, so you can see the lights coming from here, more at the top, and then get that screen brush, sample this, and less at the bottom there like that. That was weird though, it didn't quite work out for me that one. Just gonna get the mix brush instead. Mix brush, sample that blotch there. Put the strength up really slightly. There we go. Sample that really dark bit there as well. And that's sort of working, isn't it? 
let's sample this, make it a tiny bit brighter, and just might be getting too small with the brush there actually. Yeah, that works. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. It works. Maybe a bigger dent at the bottom here. Maybe not a dent, maybe a sort of um, gash or whatever you might call it. Oh, multiply. Let's see, I've got to decide which way I'm going. Probably like this. Hmm, let's just have a look. It's, it's sort of working, it's, um, I'll not make it too big. Looks weird with the mirror, doesn't it? That's what I keep saying about the mirror being a bit odd. So back to the mix brush and just, I'm gonna sample this color up here, which is a bit brighter, just to give it some, you know what, <laughs> highlight, that's the word I was looking for. Do you think you would be able to recreate my logo in 3D? Because I would like to do that, but I've been saying it to myself for two years now and I've not succeeded. Have a look at my most recent video. It's exactly that subject and it might help you out. Um, but uh, generally I'm getting quite expensive these days uh, for freelance work to be honest because there's lots coming in so I can charge well. It's not really that expensive, but it's a, a reasonable artist price. So I'm probably ending up um, pricing out most hobbyists I'm afraid. Um, to be honest. Um, what else have we got here? When making hand-painted assets, how do you make sure you keep the color scheme consistent, the color palette here, uh, which is pretty bland at the moment and it needs a bit of uh, a bit more thought really. Like the purple there I think needs to be much more towards blue I think, or just a deeper color so maybe sort of more saturated. Um, but generally yeah you stick to this and you sample from the same image so I'm using the S to sample and I move around like this and you can see it's picking the colors so I'm sort of choosing colors that are in the image um, when making uh, sorry uh, I plan on making modular environment assets yes uh, that's therefore you will want a color palette like this to keep them consistent in fact uh, Atlas Empires contacted me and said uh, can you change the color scheme of this um, set because it's very different from the others uh, and for some reason I really upped the contrast when I was painting and it looked really odd and different to the other ones like the wood in that one was very orangey and in other ones it was a bit more grey so yeah watch out for those things are you a graphic designer um, I do a bit of graphic design in terms of uh, the odd bits and pieces but I'm I'm not as good at it um, some people just have that sort of I suppose it is training as well they've trained themselves to look at trends and things like that and I it's just not my thing as such it's difficult to say because graphic designer could mean lots of things but generally speaking I would say um, I'm more a 3D artist but you have to be a bit of everything a lot of the time and understand these different things like um, typography we were talking about the other day I think with someone anyway um, and uh, yeah knowing about typography for just simple things like hello red, red elixir um, simple things uh, like thumbnails and stuff you, you need to know these things um, and it's important uh, hopefully I'm not just babbling there. This, we're certainly getting there with this, aren't we? Um, what I should do, because I'm pretty much uh, getting near... Oh, look how weird it looks when it's in that solid mode. I have it up here so we've got the image and people can see what's going on. A little bit anyway. Not great, is it? If I do it up and down like this, it will be stabbing me. <laughs> how silly wrong with me um uh, back to the dagger yes and i'm here watching this whilst i work on the project for this month's contest cool uh, what is your uh what, what are you doing for the the contest red elixir let me know uh we got so we got 125 that's a nice number isn't it good job thank you very much uh, very thank you very much to everybody for joining me uh it's always good fun isn't it do you love it i feel like this the handle needs a bigger dent maybe somewhere around here I could be wrong could be wrong right 
just going to be a bit careful and come off the multiply. I think it was very, um, very dark. And going back to the mix brush and then sampling seems to be all that I do these days, isn't it? That's good, Grant. Thank you. Uh, yeah, have a look at the text painting series. I probably should put a link in the description of this, shouldn't I? But it's the easiest way is to uh, look on my uh, playlists. I think that's probably the easiest way. Looks a bit like cheese now. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of working, isn't it? To be fair, it's probably going to be seen from about here. <laughs> So why am I doing so much? I can't help myself. It's just good fun and probably uh, being a bit silly. Um, but I'm, I try and have fun with these things as well, really, uh, because um, otherwise life is dull, isn't it? But um, in reality, I'm not actually billing them for the, the amount of hours that I'm putting into this. Because a lot of the time I just think, oh, it's nice to make a dagger, be nice to do a live stream. And um, I'm not too worried about... Um, the income because I'm, the YouTube is um, people are supporting me through their kindness and things from the YouTube so it's going okay from that respect oh that went a bit wobbly didn't it it's a bit better just the faintest touches down here And let's sample that color, turn the screen off, mix, and just mix that back in. Back to, in fact, let's sample that color in again. As per this month's theme, mythology, oh yes, of course, yep, um, and I'm doing Medusa. Oh, very cool, very cool. Uh, I recommend reading about the true story of Medusa. It gives a bit more depth to my image, yeah, okay. Interesting, very interesting. Um, uh, the only reason I know Medusa is from Clash of the Titans, the original. Uh, Harry um, Housen or whatever it is. Um, oh, that was so cool as a kid. You just think, oh, look, there's uh, Medusa and the Gorgon's head. And, oh, dear, oh, it's brilliant. Love that stop motion. I think that's one of the things that kind of got me into this sort of artwork and things. Uh, that sort of clash of the um clash of the titans and all that sort of stuff so cool there we go a bit more effort on the cloth there so i feel like we do need a bit more i'm going to work on this one here and see how we can get on A bit over to the red, I can tell, but it doesn't matter too much. And then the screen, multiply screen, it's always the same, isn't it? <laughs> now they're really uniform, aren't they? <laughs> I think it'll be okay though. I'll put another tiny one next, right next to it, and I'll just break it up. It's going to work perfectly. Let's go back down to here. Hmm. Well, it says I'm live. What's going on? That's it. This is definitely a YouTube problem. Stream is healthy. It doesn't look healthy to me. Stream status excellent. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Right, let's end the stream there. Let's actually, what's going on? I just changed slightly. Let's see. No, end stream. <laughs>